so now if we try to see about the events thing in the javascript plain javascript we will write document dot add event listener if you remember this one so actually here you will be adding <coughs> get element by id for uh, that element you will try to take it and you will you will add add event listener for this one and here you will add click event and you will go through the function so this is all the syntax which you will try do, which you will do it so fine first you will capture the element and you will try to first you will capture the element so first you will capture the element document dot get element by id and then afterwards you will add the listener and all those things and you will do whatever thing you wanted here in the jquery if you try to search for an events so normally most probably we will be using only one thing i remember yeah on so now for example let's see that if i want to add an event for this one for example if i want to add let's refresh this one where is this link one one yeah i want to add a event for all these links let's say issue so here what i can do is dollar of a anchor link i am trying to get all the anchor links here i will capture all the anchor links so here i want to add a click event for this one dollar of a dot on so we need to use on click event okay click event and you can have a function and in this function i can write console.log click or something like this okay so now i will try to press this one so if i press this one the click event will be attached to all these things now if i try to click on this one see so when i am clicking on this one you'll be able to see some click math you are able to see it but it is refreshing why because this href is having an url it is trying to refresh it. but i want this one not to refresh so what i can do is so here i can use an e okay event so we know that in the add event listener also we'll get an event and here i can use e dot prevent default so these all things also i have shown you now if i try to press enter now i will click on the click so now see i am able to get the click thing okay so now here like this you can do it so now let's try to see what is an event here so what is an e so here if you see i have shown you at that uh, place the current target and all those things we are able to get it element the position the uh, all those things let's try to see let's press semicolon here let's add semicolon yeah. now we have added semicolon now we are able to get it for example i will click on the link one so here we are able to get an event in this event you are able to see what is the target what is the element i have clicked it it's an anchor element and you will be having all those things so at what time you have pressed it and what is the type of this one so these are all the things you are having bubbles is true so that means we have shown you that bubbles is true and the button what is this button button zero okay so client text client wave in which position it is there actually we mm, relative to this one at what position it is there to its parent uh, so these are all things so a screen means in the viewport how much it is there uh, these are all the prototypes so these are all the methods which you can use it for this one all so which keyword so which means one means it's a left uh, left click we have did it left click so if you click the right click means you will get which two so middle click if you true means uh, we'll get, we'll get uh, which means uh, that number will get it right click i think three i think middle click is two something like that you can we can see for the which and we can able to get it which key they have present uh, click on so these are all the things which you, which you will be able to get it so here you're having prevent default like i have used this prevent default right somewhere you will be having this prevent default also so here you are having prevent default somewhere yeah, yeah prevent default this is a function i am trying to use it so stop propagation in order to stop the propagation so child and element if you want to stop it means we can use this stop propagation so like this we, these are all available in the same like javascript how it is available these are all available but the events we can use it using the dollar of anchor dot and we have also some handy method so normally we will use this on and click like this we will use it or otherwise we can also use i will try to i will refresh this page then we don't have we can also have a handy method that is nothing but a click method dollar of a dot click we can also use this method also then also i can get an event E dot prevent default i can use it and here i can use console.log because i can use this method also if i press this one so i'm able to get the same method this is a handy method this is handy method. this is a, all the handy methods are available we can check it here in the jquery somewhere you'll be able to have or otherwise uh, 
this one also you will be able to have i think events yeah so these are red color are deprecated so use the on so bind we should not use it on we need to use it so dot click you have shown you dot change dot blur dot double click so this is also deprecated then no, no need to use these all things event dot current target in the event object so in the event object what are all the things present so the explanation for this one you can go through these all the things and you can able to understand it top propagation these all things time stamp returns the number of milliseconds so here you'll be able to see so mouse down mouse center mouse leave these are all the methods which are available you can play over these all the things and we are having off so what is this off is nothing but remove event listener so if you want to remove an event listener it's on yeah so if you want to remove an event listener for example let's say that we have applied this one right when i click on this one i am able to get this click so already one one event one click event is already added so this is because of reason we are getting two so if i click on this is happening okay so we are not using this event default yeah so this is the thing right so let's press enter if i use this one so we are able to get it right now if i want to remove this one means so i can use dot so on i want to remove the click event for this one means just like uh, remove event listener we have an off then if i try to remove so this one is refreshing now this this one is not working so if i want to remove a click event means we can use off if i want to add a event listener means i can use on so these are the only two things which we will be using more often and we also have another method something like uh, what i can see is uh, one so these are all attaching the event handlers so one means what it will try to add is so it will try to add only one time only mm. for example let's say that we are having this one so here if i try to change it to one if i press enter now first time if i click on the link one it is working if i click on the link two it is working why because first time only i have clicked it link three also it will work first time only now if i click again on the link three so second time i am trying to click on the link three so if i click here it will refresh so that means only one time only the event listener will be bind afterwards it will be it will not be bind so for only binding only for if you want to make the click event only to work for the first time only means then you can use the one and these are all trigger trigger means so you can make it a triggering thing uh, immediately you can invoke it that's the different thing that's it these are all the events which you can use it so now what you can do is so using this events thing so previously how you have used document dot add event listener in the same way you can use this on and off and one using these things you can do it this is all about the events thing so how we can capture the events and how we can listen to the events these are all the things